Hi everyone, it's Lynx here. I'm the leader of the Nature Explorers program at Banff Elementary School. And I'm here today to show you a super easy way to create a native species pollinator friendly garden at your schoolyard. The plants in this garden were planted by students in June. It's now October and the plants are doing really well. I'm gonna take you back and show you step by step so you can do something similar and get inspired. So step one for this project was getting students to paint the rocks in four different colors. I chose these colors because I'm basing this project on the compass and the cycles of the seasons and the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. I also used a company with these paints. It's acrylic paint. It's all natural and plant-based. It's non-toxic and biodegradable. I also created a tile to go in the center of our garden. This can easily be adapted to anything that you feel inspired by, whether that's a spiral or a flower or just something that you'd like to bring into your lesson. Step two is actually growing the plants in the classroom. I used peat pots because they can break down in the soil. And the biggest thing for this part is to make sure the soil is evenly wet, but not soaking wet. Soaking wet soil looks like this. If you can squeeze water out of it, it's too wet. What you want is the perfect wetness so that it makes a loose clump in your hand. And showing this visually and letting the kids touch it is a great way to get them involved in this project. So each student will be filling their pot with the soil, gently tamping it down. You don't want the soil too compact. And then they're gonna add their seed to the top. This is wild chives, one of the seeds that I used in our garden. You take a few and sprinkle them on top. I'd say maybe about five and spread them out. And then you add just a tiny pinch to the top. So it covers those seeds loosely and you're done. When you water, you always wanna use a spray bottle because this is gentle for those baby plants and keep it evenly moist without soaking it and saturating it. And remember that the top of your little greenhouse cover is gonna keep that moisture in and it's gonna keep it nice and moist even if you live in a dry climate like we do here. Step three in the process was bringing the kids outside to transplant their plant into the garden and to place their rock. So each student got to individually transplant the plant that they had grown from seed in the classroom. We had a great success for germination and the plants got big enough that we could transplant them in June. And this is the result. This is a list of the plants that I chose because they're native species and they're pollinator friendly. You can do whatever species work in your neighborhood. There is so much extended learning that you can do just from this one project with ties to the science curriculum for pollinators and native species to social studies and cultures from around the world, especially First Nations, and to art. The sky's the limit when it comes to art and your creativity. So have fun with this.